today we are pretending that something horrible has happened. And I mean, hey, I live in California, so the probability that a wildfire or an earthquake is going to destroy all of my belongings is a lot higher than I'd like it to be. Anyways, we're pretending that this horrible thing is happening and I can only save 10 of my stationary items. It seems like a very arbitrary set of rules, I agree. And that's that's the whole point of this video. Today, I'll be showing you the 10 items I would curate as my capsule pencil case. These aren't in any particular order, except this one. This is my absolute number one must have. This is a black gel pen, specifically the Zebra Sarasa push clip body. I've just picked this one with cute corgis on it, but pretty much any of them would do. In combination with the Pentel Energel 0.5 millimeter needle tip refill. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, you already know this spiel. Just like say it all with me, all right? I picked the Zebra Sarasa push clip body because it has a long rubber grip that extends pretty close down to the tip. A lot of other pen bodies have like ridges and pokey weird shapes there, which are very uncomfortable to me because I tend to hold my pens very close to the tip. So that's the reason I like the Zebra Sarasa push clip so much. Also just because I have a pretty big collection of cute Zebra Sarasa push clip designs. And the Pentel Energel refill has been my holy grail for ages at this point because it's super smooth. The 0.5 millimeter thickness is definitely the perfect balance between smoothness and precision in my opinion. And it dries incredibly quickly, which would be great for people who are left-handed. And for me specifically, I like how quickly it dries because I highlight immediately after writing anything. It's so important to my note-taking and organization process. So it's great, highly recommend. Our next essential is a mechanical pencil. And to serve this role, I picked my go-to, the Uni Alpha Gel Mechanical Pencil. Second only to a black gel pen, a mechanical pencil is the next writing utensil that I use the most often. I use it for studying and taking notes and sketching. And the reason I picked this specific one is, you know, I've been using it for ages, mostly because of how squishy and comfortable the grip is. It's so squishy. You can use them as a stress toy. We used to use these as like currency in elementary school because the squishy grips were so legendary. And as a secondary selling point, I just really like my mechanical pencils to have a needle tip as opposed to like a conical tip because it allows for better precision. Besides a mechanical pencil, I also need a regular wood case pencil. And the one I picked is the Dixon Ticonderoga with the holographic design. I know holographic was supposed to be like a 2016 Tumblr alien trend era thing, but like, I still like holographic. It looks nice, okay? And we all know that Dixon Ticonderoga pencils are the superior ones because they have actually functional erasers. They're not just little hard pieces of pink plastic that smudge things around. The reason I also added in this wooden pencil is because it's a little bit more useful for certain types of sketching and drawing than a mechanical pencil because the tip can be dulled down. And it's necessary for Scantron tests and other circumstances in which an HB number two pencil is required. Since this little made up scenario has like a strict numerical cap, you know I had to economize my 10 spaces with a two in one item. This is the Tombow Mono two way, which has correction tape on one side and an eraser on the other. A lot of the stuff I discuss in this video is like old news if you watch all my videos because I've been singing these praises forever, but the Tombow Mono brand of whiteout is the smoothest, most functional whiteout brand I've ever tried. It doesn't do the whole bricky bricky thing that everything else ends up defaulting to eventually. And the eraser is also quite good. You might notice I never really use it because I do prefer the Sakura foam erasers. It just has a nicer texture and is a little bit better at picking up pencil out of paper. Because you know, in real life, I'm not limited to this challenge thing. But since I am, this is a good enough substitute that allows me to save my 10 slots. Our next two spots are filled by two different colors of the Zebra Mild Liners. I use Mild Liners all the time for note taking. I don't have a very strict color coding system, but I did want to have a bit of color variety just so that the color palette of my notes could be like a good Pantone 2015 color of the year, rose quartz and serenity look. 
and I can color code if I really want to. And these are also kind of a two for one item because I can use the marker tip end for drawing titles in my notes or my planner. These are my two favorite colors at the moment, the light blue, which I have in a little Kirby design, and the peachy pink. I have yet another highlighter, I know. Don't come for me. I just really like highlighters. And this one has another very specific purpose. This is the Pilot Friction Erasable Highlighter, which I use to annotate in books and textbooks and other things that I don't necessarily want to be permanently marking up. And of course, I can still use it in my notes for an additional color coding option since I picked yellow, which is a, a different color from blue and pink. Who would have thought? It was really hard for me to narrow down my brush pen collection, but I ended up only going with just one. Since in regular life, I don't actually do calligraphy super regularly, but if I had to for like a poster project or something, I could just borrow somebody else's Crayola markers, or I could do faux calligraphy with the mild liner marker tips. But anyways, the specific brush pen I ended up deciding on was the Pentel Fude Touch Sign brush pen in the color black. This is the brush pen I've been using for my calligraphy headers ever since like the beginning of study quill. Specifically, I picked black because it's versatile, it matches every highlighter color, and I've always favored this brush pen for note taking just because it has a very small tip, which is great for, you know, writing headers of very long chapter titles in the tiny space at the top of lined paper. And it's just good quality. The ink flows smoothly, the tip is the right amount of flexibility, and it doesn't break. We're cutting it down to the wire, but our second to last pick is the Expo Dry Erase Marker, and this one is the Ultra Fine Tip. I was debating between this one and the Pilot Whiteboard Marker, which has a significantly thicker tip, but I ended up going with this one because it's a little bit more multi-use. I use dry erase markers pretty regularly to write updates on my dorm room whiteboard, and I'm considering getting like a calendar whiteboard to use in the interior of my dorm room at some point as well. Ultimately, the reason I opted for this thinner tip is because I can also use it to study using my whiteboard notebook. If you've watched some of my older study with me videos, you might remember my whiteboard notebook, which I still occasionally use for practice problems and general reviewing. If it's a type of work that I'm never going to go back to refer to, I like to use a whiteboard because I can simply erase everything instead of having to go through sheets of paper, which, you know, feels a little bit wasteful for the environment. And that's something that I can only do with a thinner tipped whiteboard marker. And our final spot goes to my Stalogy Thin Page Markers. I use these so often. I'm not really sure if they count as a stationary item, but they are something I keep in my pencil case. So they're going in my little capsule pencil case. I already used up two of the colors, that's how often I use these, but they're incredibly useful for keeping your books and notes organized. I usually use it to keep my spot in my journals or notebooks or to mark particular readings in textbooks that might be used for a research paper or just like if I didn't have to read the whole book for a class, I can mark which articles or chapters I've actually read. And these are my favorite page flags that I've ever tried because they are actually sticky and they remain sticky after several uses. And they come in a lot of different colors. Very useful for color coding. And those are my 10 items. If any of these sound interesting to you, visit the links in the description if you wanna buy them, I guess. Sorry, I don't mean to be like a walking advertisement. These are just like items I genuinely recommend. And if you want them, be my guest. Anyways, I upload new videos about student life on this channel every week and you can visit my Instagram, my TikTok, and my second channel for some occasionally study-related content. See you next time.